okay so let's continue with our python uh, question series and so this is question number 12 in our python question series so the question is what is the difference between yield and yield from so uh, maybe in the interview uh, the interviewer can ask uh, in the python interview question uh, do you know the difference between yield and yield from and if you know can you explain with some some little bit python code or some example so uh, i believe maybe some people know what is yield uh, but probably some people don't know what is yield from but before going to yield let's see the return because yield and return both are the same so yield is similar to the return statement is used for returning some values in the python right so let's uh, directly jump to the uh, pie chart so what is return so uh, like yield and return both are some some keyword in our python which is used to return something from the function so let's suppose we have some function def return function or return statement this is return statement function okay and let's uh, uh, create uh, some function uh, to get all the squares squares for i in range of n and we can take the n as an argument and scares to append i star star to return squares return scares so you could see uh, this is our one function, uh, a very normal function, which like if we give five, then it will return like a, a, a five square, then uh, till five, like one square, two square, three square, four square, and five square. So let's try to run that. Print a return statement and five. Let's try to run. you could see uh, it is like uh, till 5 means like 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 or if you want you can do 1 2 and plus 1 that is fine so this is like a, uh, the return statement but the question is what is the difference between yield and yield from so before directly jumping into the yield and the yield from now first we should know return so return is whenever we call this function it did everything and just come out of the function now we can't go again inside the function because once the function has been called and it if it is a return statement it is come out of there out of the function that is the execution of this function has been terminated all right and if you see here we we are calculating everything and storing in a memory and we are storing in a memory so we have just four elements or five elements then it is perfectly fine but let's suppose if we have 1 million elements one or 1 billion elements, then what if we use return statement, then what it will do is it is going to do the scares of all the 1 billion elements and it is going to store in the memory. So it is going to store and once it is going to store, then only it is going to be returned. All right. So that is the disadvantage of the return statement because if there is very huge uh, uh, like a number, in this case and, and if it has to if it is to do some processing so first it is going to store everything into the memory and then it is going to do like a return all right so to fix this issue we have the yield statement so yield is a similar kind of a return statement so what we have to do is just inside of the return we need to do the yield so def yield statement yield statement and we have to calculate the scares because like what yield will do is what yield will do is like what the return is going to do return is going to do is it is like uh, 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 processing each and everything it is storing into the memory and then it is like returning so for the smaller number this is fine but for the larger number this this memory will create issue all right so this disadvantage will be override by like uh, can be fixed by the yield statement 
So if if this memory is the disadvantage, then when we use the yield, we don't need to use this memory. We don't need to use this memory. Okay, if we don't use this memory, then how we are going to return all the elements? So what we have to do, we have to do yield i star star two. That's it. So what it will do is let's let's call this function print yield statement and five. So now if you observe in, in this in this example, we are calling the return statement and the function is being called and we know when the function is being called uh, and if there is a return statement, the, the execution is going to be terminated. In case of the, this is also a function, so how to call this function? We are calling this function. But if you see, once if I run this, you will see the output of this, but you are not going to see the output of this, of the yield statement. So let's see. So you could see for this, we got the output uh, 014916. But for this, instead of 014916, we are getting some object. We are getting some object because the yield statement is giving some object. Because if I if we do return statement, return is going to terminate our execution. But yield is not going to terminate our execution. But it, what yield will do is, because when the first, first loop run, first loop run, it is going to return something or you can like a return is just a world, but it is going to give something, right? So it is going to give something. And now it gives something. So now we are at the out, out of the, this function, right? But what about this for loop? This for loop is still in the hold state because only one loop executed. And after the one loop, this uh, will return. But what about the other loop? So other loop will be going to be executed when we are manually invoke. So that's that's the advantage. So we we don't need to store everything into the memory. So we have to manually invoke. So to manually invoke, we have we should have some object. We should have some object, right? So that's why it is not printing. Instead, it is giving some some object. So you could see object. Yield, yield statement and five and if you see print object and so this is our object so how we are how we are like uh, printing printing this just do next of object so print it print if next of object so you could see the first is zero and if you want to print the second element, you could do again another third element, fourth element, fifth element. So you could see it also prints. Now, if you print one more, okay. If you print one more, it will throw error. The error is stop iteration because the iteration has been stopped because. Uh, this for loop should be run only five times. So one run, it is going uh, return something. Um, but to call that, we have to manually invoke using next function. So we have called next. Then uh, then uh, for one, for two, for three, and for four. All right. Then iteration has been stopped. So that's why it is giving stop iteration error. And the best way to uh, call this is instead of like just printing next, 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 next multiple times because this is the five element. So I can print five times next, but if it is a million elements, because generally yield is used for to save the memory, all right? Because if it is five element, I can use, I can store in the memory as well. But if it is a mil billion element, I, I am not going to do the print, 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 print. So what should I do? So better I can use the for loop. So how to run the for loop? So just for i in yield statement five that's it because we know this thing this thing is going to give uh, some object all right so now if you print i so you could see zero one four nine sixteen it is going to print it is going to give the uh, all the output all right, so it means we are not storing everything into the memory. We are just printing. Same case here, we are also printing, but instead of printing, we are also storing to the memory. So this is the advantage of the yield. So let's go to the uh, document. So yield is similar to the return statement. 
used for returning values in python redundant statement terminate the execution of the function so you could see when as soon as it it's written the function terminate you can't go inside that function again if you have to go inside that function again you have to call the same function again but yield statement only poses the execution of the function because if i show you earlier i show you using print next of object next of object next of object so it means i am calling again and again and again all right so it means or or instead of that you can do print of next of yield statement so okay because it is calling uh, the same thing again yeah like earlier we do now like we store some we call this function we store into an object and that object we are we, we are calling all right so it means why we are again calling the same thing again because what yield will do is yield is going to not terminate the execution of the function it is going to pause so yield statement only pause the execution of the function so yield is a keyword in, in a python which is used to create a generator function so this function is called a generator function when we have the yield in the function we call it a generator function because it generates something this is also generated but this is not called a generator function okay so a function which is memory efficient because this is a memory efficient all right and we can use that function as an int like an iterator object so this is an iterator object because uh, what is iterator iterator is something on which we can run some for loops like if you have to run some for loop for i in uh, let's suppose some some object object is a one two three four all right first for i in object so what is object object is a list and what is a list list is an iterator right so here we are running a for loop on function so we are running a for loop on the function so this function is iterator because uh, any object in the python on which we can execute some for loop while loop that is called an iterator so uh, that makes a function as an iterator object a generator function which produce a value and temporarily suspend the execution and the next value is requested so it is going to temporarily suspend the execution until unless the next uh, like value has been uh, like uh, requested okay so this is yield and this is like a return statement so most of the people know already but the problem is what is yield from all right so yield from is delegates to another generator so what what does this mean delegates to another generator so let's look by the example let's look by the example so so let me yeah let me comment this so let's take def generator one and it is going to yield few things yield one or generator one yield hundred yield 101 yield 102 okay now if you have to like uh, uh print that uh, so what we what we have to do, do is for i in generator 1 and print i right so if we run this we are going to get we are going to get 100 because uh, for the first iteration it poses uh, pose is uh, like execution then for the next for loop it go here and for the next for loop it goes here so this is yield which is which we already see right what is what, what is yield form so now if i create one more generator f generator 2 all right now now what i want is what i want is i want these values as well i want these value as well so one way is i can again put yield 101 yield 102 along with that along with that i want yield 201 yield 202 yield 203 so i can repeat the value so this is this is also the normal normal like uh, generator so for i in generator 2 print i So I can print the value, but like you see, these are just the three values, all right. But if there are million values or billion values, 
like coming from the for loop like like in this case like if there are billion values then i have to provide the same logic here or at least i have to print again yield and yield then this is not efficient because this is already being called here why should i like again put here because i can't i call this function here yes so we can call this function here so one way is to call this function here we can do this thing for i in gen rater 1 and and print i so if you do then it also gives the same as same like output 100 101 0 1 but uh, so this is two lines so can we make it more shorter so yes we can make it more shorter but we can do is there is a statement yield from generator one so it means we we will like yield will like yield is calling on the generator but this generator is returning something all right now we are we call the yield from when we have to call the execution from the generator all right so now if you run you could see now we are also getting the same value so instead of repeating 100 101 102 here or instead of printing printing uh, the or instead of calling this function generator one using for loop we can use the yield from all right so i can show you one more example that is also like a, like a great example so let me let me comment this let me comment this so as an example so let's take let's take def generator 3 and what it will do is for i in the range of 10 and yield i go this is generator and def generator or generator 4 or i in so basically this is going to print the number from 1 to 11 and this is going to print the number from uh 1 to 10 and this is going to 1 to 11 to 20 and yield yield i right so that is fine so if i call this function so let let me call this and uh, for i in generator 3 print i You could see uh, like uh, the function has been called and same for the same for the four same for the four so now 11 to 20 has been printed but let's suppose let's suppose there is a one more function so let me command this so let's suppose now you know there is a one function separate function which is only going to print 1 to 10 and there is a separate function which is going to print 11 to 20 now you need one more function def generator 5 which is going to print from 1 to 20 so one thing is you can run a for loop for i in range 1 to 20 you can say i, I can run the for loop that like this is a, this is a very small example but let's suppose this is a very complicated function you write some for many for loops many if conditions right and same with this and now there is a one more function in which you want both the uh, like uh, functions or both uh, both the logics so what you can do is one thing is uh, if you want both the logics okay let's call the same thing here so as an example let's call here now it's going to work because uh yeah so so we, we can we can call right so what we can do is for i in generator 5 print i okay this is not uh, uh, or this is just this is the normal function generator yeah so now we can we we, we can like uh, do this 
right? But you see, like unnecessary, there is a repetition. So better, what I can do is because I know this is generator, and I know this is generator, and I want to make this also a generator, right? So generator means I have to yield something. So what I can do is yield from generator three. So yield from generator three means it is going to print uh, from one to ten. Now I I want from eleven to twenty. So yield from generator four. All right. So now this is also a generator. So four I in generator five print I. So now if you run, sorry, print. So now if you run, you could see I am getting all the values from one to twenty. So this is a, that's why like we mentioned, yield delegates to another generator. So like re return is just normal uh, stopping the execution. Yield is uh, pausing the execution and it is memory efficient. All right, but yield from is when you need the value from the another generator. All right, so yield we use to return the value from its generator. All right, from itself generator. But when you need the value from another generator, another generator, then you can use the yield from because from is from something else, right? Yield from. So yes, that's it. Like it's a very small video, and this is like a, uh, this is not uh, something new feature yield from. Uh, but yes, for Python three, this is new. But Python three is also not new nowadays. All right, so it's three point twelve version is already released. So, but yes, and if you want to read more, you can do yield from Python, and maybe somewhere. Simple statement. Yeah, maybe in the in the like uh, somewhere like you you can read like uh, maybe in the Stack Overflow or somewhere maybe you will get some example. Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the video. Uh, thank you.